Playmaker Sports turns one on the weekend. Uh, that's uh, quite a good milestone for the business. Yeah, exciting times. Uh, it's been a tough year, but uh, you know we've uh, survived and we're turning one on the weekend, so it's a great milestone for us. And uh, you know, really happy with how it's gone and the uh, feedback we've got from people. So it's uh, it's looking good. And there's a couple of uh, promotions you've got on. There's fifteen percent discount on some apparel, all white apparel, which is very topical. Yeah, it's uh, all about timing. Here yeah, we've got some uh, kids' white shirts on special, and uh, you know we've got a barbecue going through the day. Mr. Whoopi coming down, so the kids hopefully can come down and. And we've got a huge flag that I'm going to try and take across to Mexico and uh, put up in our dining room there where we have uh, a few flags and support from around the world. So mm -hmm. we're asking kids to come down and sign that and put uh, good wishes on it. How important is that to morale for the All Whites? Because you're going into an environment that's uh, going to be hostile in many ways, 105,000 home supporters. You go to the dining room and you see that flag. What, what goes through a player's uh, heart and mind? Yeah, it's going to be a very difficult situation down there. I mean, uh, you mentioned hostile, I expect that, you know, 100%. And, uh, you know, during the game and also around the hotel and that. So, you know, the, the public are going to make it as hard as they can for us. So it's really important that we have a zone inside the hotel that we can just relax at and um, feel at home and, uh, and see the support coming from back in New Zealand and from around the world, the Kiwis. Winston Reid obviously uh, is going to miss the first leg. How big a blow is that? And how do you think the boys will respond? Yeah, it's a huge blow. It's uh, very disappointing for the team and, and personally for me. You know, he's a great guy and a very good player. So uh, it's going to be tough to, to lose your captain. But uh, it just creates an opportunity now for someone to stand up and, and fill those boots and, uh, and show that they're worthy of a, a position in the white. Mm -hmm. Mexico haven't had their problems to chase. They've uh, gone through a very difficult campaign through a number of coaches. Does this... Uh play on the minds of players or, or is it something that the All Whites will block out and just focus on themselves? I think we know that they've had their problems, you know, obviously the qualifying has been a little bit difficult for them this time around but, you know, at the end of the day it's just who turns up in the game and, and in that 90 minutes, in that first game we need to just focus on ourselves and, and prepare well and, and stick to the tactics that we're going to take into the game and uh, we can't uh, hope that they're going to be off their game, you know, and we need the luck on our side, we need to be you know, 100% effort together. We need all the boys to stand up and, and fight for each other. So, uh, you know, that we'll understand that they're going through a tough time, but at the end of the day, yeah. that can turn on football straight away. So that's a, a dangerous thing to, to think that's going to happen. The team's going to rely a lot on your experience of playing Mexican opposition. You entered the Confeds in 99. There were two friendlies, I think, with Mexico as well. And you've, you've faced uh, Atlante in the FIFA Club World Cup, which we'll get to shortly. What can the All Whites expect and what can All Whites fans expect well, I think they can expect a very tough game for us. You know, Mexicans are a very uh, capable side and, uh, you know, they're ranked up there in the world very much and, and they've played in a lot of World Cups. So they've got a lot of experience here. They're going for a rough patch at the moment, but they're, uh, you know, they're really good technically on the ball. They're fast players. They're, uh, they move the ball around a lot and, and they have the ability to change the game within a second, you know. So, uh, you know, we have to go out there very compact and, and be realistic about how we can play against them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we, if we can take that mindset into the game, then we're going to have a chance. I had an opportunity to interview uh, Jeremy Brocky and Marco Rojas, and they uh, said that one of the key qualities that uh, the All Whites will bring is, is a sense of brotherhood and togetherness. They say that this is a, a really important factor. How important is it in, in your per perspective? Yeah, it is totally. I mean, it's one of the strengths of the All Whites teams for, uh, for many years now. I mean, that te team spirit is important. And... Uh, you know, it showed on the on the field in the last campaign. We had uh, you know strikers running back and making sliding tackles in the 18 yard box. We had guys just fighting for each other, and for every inch on the field. And uh, we need that again this time round. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that already on the on the tours gone by. So, you know, when the big games come ahead, that's what uh, we count on. And uh, at the moment, there isn't as much strife in our camp as are in Mexico. So. You know, if anything sort of affects us, it's not going to affect us too much, you know, whereas uh, hopefully on the uh, Mexican side of things, if there's things start going wrong for them, well then hopefully they fall apart. Mm.